What's up, Nerds and Geeks, and welcome to my next Let's Play, Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion. If you've been paying attention to my channel at all, you would have noticed that I've been doing the arcade playthroughs for this game on my Subproctor Saturdays, but I have not done the story mode, which it is in here. I've completed the story mode already. Uh, you're not going to see it on here because I'm actually doing it on my other account, which doesn't have all the characters. I believe it only has Johnny Bravo unlocked. But, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so I've completed the story mode already, and the only reason, start a new one, I'm doing it over again is because with the whole hard drive issue I had earlier this year with my laptop, that all went away. Oh no, I have Hostel Gato and Johnny Bravo, but we're not going to play as either of those two at all. We're going to start off with Ben 10, ben Tennyson. who we should be starting off with. But this is a really good game, it gets a lot of bad rep and all that, so I'm glad I'm going to be quiet, cutscene. Greetings, citizens, and welcome to... Hey, wait a minute. I've been hosting so much, I'm actually introing on my day off. I finally got some me time to put on my casual tights, snuggle up, and watch my favorite shows. Let's see what's on Cartoon Network. Ah, Dexter's on. What's Dexter working on there? Ah! Ooh, I think I remember this episode. Is this the one where Dexter builds a travel machine? Oh, no. Uh, definitely don't remember this episode. Look out, Dexter! Hey, I was watching that! Who flipped the channel? What's this? The KND Sector 5 Treehouse. Where's number one? Oh, this doesn't look good. What a disaster! What's happening to these worlds? Man, you know, things are getting bad when even the Grim Reaper stands on the brink of annihilation. Wait, that's Bill Gass, <laughs> Ben 10's enemy. But what's he doing in Chowder's world? This is so messed up. Hmm. Yes, Ben Tennyson. Finally, a hero who can help. All right, so basically to sum everything up... Oh. All right, Ben's in Chowder's world. This ought to be like taking candy from a baby, or food from a world whose whole economy is based on food. What the? This looks like the place I saw Vilgax terrorizing on the ultimate... I hate how fast they move. I need to stop Vilgax and figure out what's going on. All right, so... A to attack, obviously. I know all this stuff. Yep, so A to attack, but basically while I'm doing this tutorial stuff, since I already know what I'm going to do, uh, so I'm going to explain the storyline real quick. Basically, I believe I can talk to you. No, I can't. Basically, all the Cartoon Network girls are, you know, being destroyed in some sort of way. And... <laughs> I love doing that. And nobody knows why. And Ben 10, who saw Vilgax, who are both from Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. I was about to say, I didn't beat you. He saw Vilgax in Chowder's World, and he's come here to save Chowder's World, basically. So that's how this game starts off. It's a phenomenal game. It gets such a bad rep, and I don't understand why, because I personally love it. I love how it has a story mode. I love how it has so many classes. It's so nostalgic. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. But I just, I love this game so much. I know how to do stuff. Yeah, you would think I would be able to break through that stuff, but no. So I'm just gonna... Alright. I gotta break those boxes. Let me see if there's anything in here, actually. I don't think so. Nope. Like I said, I didn't think so. Right now, I don't even know who these creatures are. I'm assuming they're... They might be some of Vilgax's partners, but I don't know why... Uh, Vilgax would have a walking broccoli stick with a gun. 
So yeah. Oh, jump over that. And we got watermelons. I'm assuming this is Chowder's stuff, actually, since since I don't. This looks like a Vilgax guy. I don't know much about the Chowder series, but as um, Space Ghost to Ghost said. Oh shit! I forgot about this. Since he just said how Chowder's world is all made of a con. I mean, food is ma is the economy in this world. I'm assuming. Oh, I did the wrong one. I'm assuming that uh these beet looking things and the broccoli thing is chowders type of villains. I could be wrong about that, don't quote me. But you have these special things and you press X and um uh, has to be nearby. I won't stop until I find him. Wow, now that was some exciting um, just like that we beat the first level. Levels are pretty short in this game. I'm not gonna do it by levels though because that means that this video would be five minutes. I don't know how long I'm going to make the videos for this, but it's definitely not going to be five minutes because that means this series would go on forever, and that's just... It's it's unnecessary. Hey, it's Chowder. Maybe he can help Ben. Hey, wait a minute. What's wrong with him? Something's not wrong. I don't know who you or what you are, but I have a city to save. Either help me or get out of my way. So Chowder is being possessed by... I don't really know. It never really explains in the game. At least I don't think it does. But while I'm finding Chowder, I want to explain stuff. Now, mind you, I am playing this on hard. Since I I don't consider myself that good at the game. But this game can be quite difficult at some times. And sometimes it can be completely easy. But anyway, uh, you have your basic A attacks. You know, you can charge all that up, down, all that stuff. But then you have X attacks, which is specials for each of the cartoon characters. So... Ben just pressing X alone turns him into, I don't know the name of Ben's creatures, so excuse me if you, if I don't know. Uh, but it turns, the, just standing there pressing X, I can fucking asshole. You know, he turns into the fire creature. And then his side X's turns him into this, I think his um, name is Gigantic Sword or something? I do know that one, I just got the Reaper's Blade. Up is he turns into the this I guess ice flying alien, and down he turns into I don't know the name for that one, but I know what it is, and I just did it all. Sorry, little guy. And see what I mean, nerds and geeks? It's it's that short. It really is. Like I, sometimes the levels can be really long, and other times it's just record breaking short time. And we're going to continue on, and this time we got Chowder, so Chowder will be our partner in this. And I think I accidentally skipped some of the dialogue for that last one. I apologize. Yeah, I do. What happened to me? Oh no, the last thing I remember was some tentacle-faced guy getting that mung! Where is he? And why do I feel like I was beaten up? His name is Vilgax, and if we find him, we'll probably find your friend, too. Alright, just like that. And you gotta press select to switch characters, but I'm not a big fan of Chowder. And not just a ben not because I'm not a fan of his series, but in this game, I mean, I don't know. So, I'm gonna probably stick with Ben in this. And, some of, like I said, some of these look like Vilgax's partner, I mean, opponent. Ah little minion things and others look like chowders creatures so I'm not quite sure but yeah take them out so like I said it doesn't really explain what chowder was possessed by and I don't know why that would be something good and we gotta jump now this thing I don't believe you can destroy no you can't so basically this is like a, oh crap, a platform stage, it's not basically, it's pretty much is. Fun fact though, I bel oh, you can use your signature to reassure stuff, but this guy screwed me up, so yeah, it's not fun. And for some reason I can't do it this time, but you are able to use your, son of a bitch, I always do that on accident, and I'm looking like a fool right now. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. I don't even know why I said that. Oh. 
So that thing destroys it, so now we can't go back. But we got more of these guys. And there we go. Uh, I think if we get a fighting scene, like a, I will show off Chowder a little bit for you guys. I wasn't close enough. There we go. But in these basic little things. And yeah, they will. Nothing's here, though. There we go. Oh, he was talking about these platforms. I forgot about that. It's been a while since I've actually played this. Ah, okay. Since I had to do five, I'll show up Chowder. So Chowder has his basic attacks and then all that stuff. But then he has, um, for his just standalone X, he throws his pet fart, which is disgusting. There. And then he does like a Kirby. Uh, see, I suck at him. He has a Kirby. Uh, fuck you. A Kirby-like maneuver where he sucks and spits. That sounded so dirty. His up thing, he twirls in the air, and his down, he throws his pet fart on the ground. Yeah. So I'll have to take out the rest of these guys with Chowder. And hopefully end this soon, because I really... I, I, I don't like playing as Chowder, I'm not going to lie. He's probably, if not my least favorite, one of my least favorite, because there's some people in here I'm not really... Oh my god, he's off screen. There we go. Alright, now that that's done, we'll switch back to Ben... And oh, I did not know that. I did not know that the clouds would like disappear on you halfway through. I didn't really need that actually. Okay, and the easy takeout. Now I don't know if you nerds and geeks have noticed, but there's a little thing on the bottom corner of the screen. Not just Ben's help, but it's something that has a little you know, fist in it, and actually we can use it, so let's do it now. Basically what it is, is if you ever played Super Smash Bros. Brawl, it's kind of like your, your final smash, it's your super. And you get to, as you see Ben's there, he turns into, I think his name is Gigantosaur, Gigant Gigantosaur, I'm pretty positive, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But, um, and he turns into, like, his mega form or something. I'm not quite sure. That's a long ways down. Don't bump into too many things, or you'll make me watch this scene over and over again. And I don't want to have to do that. All right, for this next thing, we have to move left, right. We get ups to slow down and downs to speed up. So, it's not too hard. You just got to pay attention pretty basic but if you do get hit by the flames you have to start off start over so I don't know what I was trying to say the entire thing like I almost did right there this is like the hardest part right here but it's supposed to be really actually if you stay in the center the entire time you kinda won't get hit by anything no surprises though all that fun stuff okay. I think I can hear Mung up ahead hmm. and that means Vilgax is nearby get ready I do apologize for my character voices because they're not too good. Alright, so now we did that. And I think we'll do one more level before we finish it off. So we pick Ben. ben and we'll pick Chowder once again. Chowder and, and we'll press start and get it done with. There is something I do want to point out. If you look at the loading screen, I don't know if you can really see it. And you can't see it now. But it... Oh, hold on. Vilgax, Mung, Ben Tennyson, Chowder. Everyone met each other now. Are we through? Can we fight now? You're through, Vilgax. I'm taking you off this planet. Tennyson, you make me laugh. We're on a different event. We're not on a different planet. We're in a different dimension. I'd explain more, but you have to save this old fool. Help me! Too good for Mung Gall. Defeat the Forever Knights before they knock out Mung. So we have to protect Mung from the Forever Knights, so which they are Vilgax's Oh Humongosaur, not Gigantic Sword. And we just got a little thing, I don't know if you can see it. I've ex I've explained this in the um in the Saprocker Saturdays, but I'll explain it here too. You have these little things, kinda like Smash Bros assist trophies. And that guy's off screen. And Get out of here. 
There he is. They're kind of like Smash Bros. Assist trophies. They're called Synergy Blocks. And you pick them up. Sometimes you'll have a special person who you have synergy with. Like, um, I know Fathers is... Because I played both Father and... Um, Father and Johnny Bravo's arcade playthroughs. So I know Father has... Um, uh, fuzzy Lumpkins from the Powerpuff Girls is his. See, here they are. This time I got number four. And, um... Johnny Bravo's is Dracula. What is this? I don't even know what that was. I do have my special, but I don't want to just waste it on one or two people. If you actually interact with the doors, too, and stuff comes out, like, she just gave me cookies and that helped my health out. I'm actually going to wait until... Okay, we can do it now. And... Time to nuke everybody. So if you haven't noticed, we have to take out 25 people. And we've taken out 17, so we're not too far away from it. And it's not too hard, honestly, this mission. Because as long as you stay close to him and take out anybody that's coming near him, you're pretty safe, honestly. Except for these broccoli guys, of course. Because... Now, that always scares him. I'm afraid, like, he falls off like, or something like that. There we go. That should... Oh, shit. Where am I at? Oh, he shot me. That's one thing I thought was stupid, how they can interrupt moves. Well, that was awful. I'll never make clamor again. Thanks for saving me from... What did you say his name was? His name is Vilgax, and Chowder and I will hunt him down until he's captured. We will. All right. You boys have fun. Chowder, get back in time to help me prepare for dinner. And we've unlocked a multiplayer level. And that should do it for that level. So, nerds and geeks, I hope you've enjoyed episode one of Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion. Explosion. If you have, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I have been OMG, WTF, LOL, FTW, BRB, nerds and geeks. And I'll be seeing you later. Until then... Have a great day.